new laser update, new laser update, new laser update, new laser update. In case you haven't noticed, there's a new laser update. I spoke with Osu's lead developer, Pepe, Hi there. about the biggest changes, so let's run through them. Last week, Laser added map updating, and as always, that raised some new problems. Things like scores not being transferred, other metadata like the date you added the beatmap being reset. So I went through and fixed up those edge cases this week. Oh, there's a typo in there. I better fix that. Introduction H. There was one tiny change to the editor this week. Ki time additions show up correctly now. Before, they just sort of showed these little dots, whereas now they'll show a proper bar highlighting the whole Ki section, as was the case in Stable. The skinning department also received a carryover from Stable, this pie chart. Previously, the only progress bar was this big thing at the bottom of the screen, which does allow very convenient replay seeking, but, you know, the pie chart was cute, so it's finally in laser. Uh, this touch input thing sounds very annoyed, <laughs> the whole description here. Yes. Yeah, I don't think there should be a cursor on screen when you're touching the screen, but a lot of people have asked for that. So that's when you're on a, a phone and you're touching the screen. Previously, we used to fade the cursor out. Uh, this allows the user to turn the cursor back on if they so wish to do so. When can I submit scores and laser to earn PP, says every Osu player. This is the biggest thing players are waiting for, and laser is making progress towards that. As of actually last week, but I forgot to mention it, laser processes scores in real time. And along with that, this new warning was added. Um, we added that website in case, you know, shit hits the fan and the servers are running slow, so people know where their PP is. Something Laser has given a lot of attention to so far is mods. There's this whole fancy overlay, mod customization, and a billion new mods to mess around with. Something that's being added on top of all this is mod presets. So that's something that Spaceman Atlas is working on. You'll be able to select mods, save them as a preset, and load that preset at any point you want. This is still a work in progress based on Flight's design document, but the estimate for it to be fully functional is within the next couple of months. And lastly, let's talk about testing. The changelog has a whole section dedicated to testing, and this week's is pretty chunky. You know, having tests allows us to be more confident in our development process and make sure we don't regress on things that we expect to work. So we have a huge suite of tests. I think it's something like three or 4,000 now. We require every test to pass to actually move forward with development to merge any of our code. So yeah, we put quite a bit of time in, especially recently, into cleaning up these flaky tests and making sure that they don't fail when we expect them to pass. So everything listed here is a test adjustment like what you've been seeing. One of Laser's goals has been to create maintainable code, and testing is just one of the ways developers ensure that. This was going to be the end, but then Peppy added two more things while I was making this video. So first, there's a confirmation to show when you're discarding a playlist, and there's this low battery warning for non-mobile platforms. I can't get a video of that right now, but trust me, it's there. Anyway, that covers the biggest changes in this week's laser updates. The full changelog has literally everything that's new, so dig deeper if you're interested. For now, I'll see some of you at CUE, and the rest of you in the next update. Next laser update, next laser update, next, next laser, laser update, update, next laser... Am I peeking with all those? No, we're good. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome.